Hi everyone, it's Miss Cecilia and thanks for joining me in the library for another Create session. We'll be making mosaic frames today. So in your activity kit, you will have some Mod Podge glue, your very own paintbrush, a picture frame that you get to decide what kind of picture you want to put in it, and an assortment of mosaic tiles. So here are all of your materials and you'll open that glue very carefully so that way it's ready to go when we're ready to glue after we decided how we want to lay our tiles out on our frame. You can select um, particular color schemes or a particular pattern if you would like. Really, you can be creative here and decide how you want your mosaic picture frame to look. So I'm just laying out um, some colors and deciding what colors I like together, what colors I want to be next to each other. And I decided to kind of border my inner picture here um, and to follow that line, make a, a bigger square around the frame. But you can do whatever you would like. You have plenty of tiles, so get creative and create a pattern of your very own. Or if you like the way this looks, you can do that too. And this planning phase will make it a lot easier once we start to glue down our tiles. You want to make sure you really like your layout before you start gluing. So once you decide you like that, you can go ahead and grab your glue and dab a little bit of glue on your paintbrush and go one by one with the tiles and glue them down in the pattern that you already planned out. You don't need a lot of glue, but the glue does dry quickly, so I suggest going only one or two tiles at a time. And it can be a little tedious depending on how intricate your pattern is. And so once you're basically done gluing um, your tiles down, you can go ahead and put a sealing coat of uh, Mosh Posh on your tiles. It does dry clear, so don't worry too much about that. But by doing this, we're getting glue in between each and every tile, so they really stay put. So I recommend not skipping steps so that your tiles and your frames stay as much as possible. And then I decided that my outside edges were a little bare, so I made a cute little pattern um, on the corners, but you could do whatever you would like with your um, outside edge of your frame. If you wanted to fill the entire frame with tiles, you could try to do that. Um, and you could also uh, use other materials if you have paint at home. If you have markers at home, you could create some other kind of design or even write something on your frame if you wanted to. And there you have it. Thank you so much for joining us today and we hope to see you soon at the Santa Marichas Library. Bye everyone.